to my youtube channel if you're new welcome i'm nina the simple kenyan girl if you haven't subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification to get everything coming right your way that is healthy tips um young mom edition we have travel thursdays and um all of that all that good stuff yeah so today i'm gonna talk about what you have seen on your title yeah nobody tells you that yeah and this is what's up okay um most of the time when this is just the reality of being pregnant and this is a, a research that has been conducted and it has been seen over the years and over as time goes by <clears throat> what am i talking about let's get right into the video so if this is some of the goods that you like please give this video a like if you feel informed or inspired please give this video a like okay thank you so when pregnant what we don't know about when someone gets pregnant first things first when you get pregnant you are supposed to have a gyna or a GP general practitioner um, or a doctor that you go see each and every month why is this so important this is important because it enables you to know how your baby is developing or babies um, how everything is going how is your blood pressure which is the most important and the most critical thing um, and how are your blood levels so what this enables the medical provider to do to you they they are able to know what you lack so they give you supplements for what you lack yeah and this is um something that uh, most people don't know but when you are pregnant you tend your body tends to uh, take everything away from your body to the placenta so that the baby can just blossom but when they come <laughs> it's totally the opposite you your body now is getting whatever it has not been getting for yourself yeah I hope that's clear and I hope it makes sense <laughs> yeah so the next thing <clears throat> pardon me the next thing we're gonna talk about is um, the reality of that when you go to the doctor's office um, most of the time you are done blood tests so this is something that should not shock you uh, this blood test you might they might take uh, two two or three blood tests in your whole pregnancy depending on how your pregnancy is going if your pregnancy does not have any issues you might just have one blood test the whole of your pregnancy um yeah so that is that this blood test enables the 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 medical practitioner to know how you're progressing how are your blood levels how what do you need more the calcium levels all that stuff all that good stuff and most importantly your hiv and aids status um yeah so we have that and then another thing nobody tells you about is you might get sick the whole pregnancy or if you have a backache from when you got pregnant and you have a backache you might experience that backache for the rest of the pregnancy i'm not coming here to shock you guys i'm just coming here to inform you so that you can be prepared mentally when you're planning to get pregnant or just when you want to start that journey you might just you it's just a good thing to just know yeah uh something else um it can happen you can have those eggs from when you got pregnant to the end or you might have those eggs different trimesters the same with um nausea and the uh, the morning sickness overall it can it can happen the whole of the trimester the heart burns too 
it can happen the whole trimester all those trimesters or just one trimester at a time like the first trimester you have heart burns the second trimester you are perfectly okay the third trimester you are burning up yeah so that's what i'm talking about okay something else um <laughs> this is uh in regards to after baby after baby they tell you to just uh do the seeds but i'm gonna talk about uh, natural baths only i've not done any research on cs so in natural baths they tell you to see to do your seeds bath if every day for two weeks but my dear friend if you are experiencing any discomfort i'll advise you to do your seeds bath as long as possible uh, you can do them up to the sixth week when you're supposed to start the injections and go for a checkup um but that's that's what i will definitely advise on you can do them as long as possible when you go for your long calls make sure you wash the that area another thing i have i almost forgot to tell you you might experience hemorrhoids when you're pregnant so be very cautious of where you're putting your bum bum after um, when you're pregnant um the last trimester can be a little bit tricky because all you want to do is just take uh, an hour walk and then you come rest just sitting and watching and eating and that's perfectly okay but if you don't experience hemorrhoids in your f the whole of your pregnancy which is perfectly okay you might experience it when you're giving birth when you're pushing out the baby because all that pressure is down there and this is perfectly okay how long does it take for it to heal i'm sure that's what you're asking yourself um this kind of um situation it takes up to roughly two or three months when you've given birth um yeah but if it goes for longer it can go up to six months at most at most that's at most but how do you know you have them one thing is how your tissue is going uh, down there when you're done with your second um your long call your number two when you're done with that one and you wipe and you feel like it's not clean that's one sign or you wipe and then there's something that's left there like the tissue has been torn or something that's another sign and uh, the best thing you can know if you have it or no one i can say self-examine just put a mirror on the floor and self-examine yourself or just wash your hands really really well and then you touch you feel you'll feel the lumps it's just like a lump yeah and um another thing you might experience um when you're pregnant is um difficulty in um maybe taking long walks <laughs> or difficulty taking fluids that's lots of water if you have difficulties in taking water my advice to you is just put it put some glucose in the water it really helps the sugar stuff the sugar helps if you have gestational diabetes um it's best to ask your medical practitioner what you can do as an as a plan b if you if you don't want to drink juice or glucose or ribena or leucosid yeah another thing uh that's really really great um when you're pregnant or after baby the fruits that i'll definitely recommend when pregnant are kiwi yes it has sugar but just the right amount but this only depends if you have gestational diabetes if you have gestational diabetes it's best for you to have the thorn melon it's not sugary and it's very nutritious um something else mangoes if they are in season avocado it's perfect the oils are great um uh, sources of um 
you can have some oranges uh there's a lot you can have actually um don't limit yourself just be very cautious if you have if you're experiencing maybe too much sugar in your system that's when you should be extremely a uh, little bit cautious but if you're perfectly normal like your sugar levels are okay i think the best th that the other way around you can just have watermelon mangoes um kiwi count them name them yeah huh another thing i did not know spaghetti has lots of fats <laughs> it has a lot of fat i'll save you that one please be careful be careful when you're consuming all these foods when you're pregnant why because whatever you are taking in is what you're feeding your baby and they will deep it just it just depends if you feed yourself too much fats um the baby is gonna be big you might experience a very ugly tear by ugly i mean three to four degrees but you might have a small baby actually and the tear might be ex the same so just do your research mama um or papa if you're here as a dad i'm so thankful that you're here to listen and help your mama out but that's that's just it i can say that's um much i can cover on that yeah <clears throat> another thing um please use um the the medication you're given to 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 sort out the umbilical cord for your baby why because they know what you're they're doing <laughs> they know why they're giving you that medication and it actually works yeah um something else if you are if you have a low supply of breast milk um i would definitely advise try eating oatmeal they are amazing they are perfect i'll give you a very rough idea on how you can have them if you get choked when you're taking them in because they are too smooth um you can just cook them add some yogurt and some raisins raisins are very great amazing fiber so it's perfect for that yeah um jahe the green the black the black the black beans those ones too they are great we have commanders we have greens you can never go wrong with greens mama okay so i will leave you at that today i am so pumped to have you today um today as you can tell no baby around so i am so happy like like i'm so happy to just have this free time to have a chat with you and i'm so grateful that you took your time to just click on the video and watch if you have gotten to this end be blessed i love you so much all stay safe i'll see you guys on the next video bye bye